All right. Good morning, folks. Good morning. Thank you for coming to Coffee Talk. We're going to get started with some awesome pictures. We did a lot of fun events these past couple of weeks. First, we went to the Tulip Festival on Monday. We took a bus trip and it was spectacular. It could not have been nicer weather. Uh, it just, everything went so good. There is a little hiccup with the heating in the bus in the beginning, but I made the bus driver pull over. We got it fixed. So um, I had a great time. We got to enjoy the tulip fields and then we got to go to the Seattle outlet shopping malls. Some of the feedback I got was that uh, they wanted more time shopping. So we'll definitely extend that for next time. I'm not a big shopper myself, so I didn't uh, maybe consider that well enough, but I'm learning. It was my first bus trip and I think it went pretty good. So uh, we definitely are going to do more. We have our uh, wine one coming up in May. So after that, we're gonna do a couple of more bus trips this year. Just wanted to share some of these absolutely gorgeous pictures. I mean, the tulips were in full bloom. They were as big as they get before they start to fall apart. And it was just, it was stunning. Yeah, it was, it was perfect timing. And last year uh, we went, we didn't take a bus, but we drove and the tulips were just um, smaller. They were way smaller because they had just started to bloom. It was kind of colder around that time last year. So yeah, more tulips. <laughs> Okay, I had my pet stock pet treat cooking demo on Monday. Monday was the beginning of pet stock, so we have a bunch of fun pet themed things happening uh, this week. I made um, oat and apple pretzel dog treats, and one of the attendees of the class was nice enough to send me a picture of their dog enjoying the treat. Just the cutest picture, I can't even handle it. So everybody that came to the demo got a bunch of dog toys, and I actually even made it a little bit of a hands-on thing where I gave everyone a little ball of dough and had them roll it out and create their own pretzel for them to take home and bake later. So it was an interactive um, event and everyone walked away with a lot of pet stock swag. So it was a success for sure. Right? <laughs> this is just gonna be my marketing for next year. Just this dog. Also, his name is Butch, which just cracks me up because my goodness, <laughs> he is far too cute for that name. <laughs> All right. We went to the Rainiers game last night and it was awesome. It was a surprise double header. The game the night before had been canceled. So we got to see two games for the price of one, all enjoyed from our private suite. Plus it was firework Friday. So we got a Gosh, they really go all out on those fireworks. It is a full show. So um, um, about half stayed all the way through the end. The real troopers, we got out of there around 11 o'clock. Um, it was super fun, though. We had a great sweet attendant. She um, brought us everything we needed, got our food and desserts out promptly. Um, it was a really good time. We had 13 people total. Oh, and we also all got to meet the mascot. He came and visited our suite special. It was fun. Yeah, we had 13 people total. The max for the suite is 20. So it was 14, including myself. So there were a few tickets that still could have sold, but all in all, a really good night. All right, as I mentioned, it's pet stock. And you may have noticed on MTL that we are doing a pet photo contest one for cats and one for dogs. So the contestants um, that sent in pictures, I was calling for uh, photos all month last month. And so I got a ton of submissions. So the Seven Summit Lodge staff picked the top three. And I say that in quotation marks because everybody's pets are absolutely adorable and it felt really terrible trying to pick the top three, but I had to in order to keep the MTL post um, you know, reasonable for voting. So you'll see every day through the end of the week an event. Um, and what you'll do is you'll register the same way that you would normally purchase a ticket. And you just register for the one, the ticket that matches the name of the pet. So I'd like to introduce you to our top three 
puppy contestants. This is contestant number one. Her name is Zena. Contestant number two is Hamilton. And contestant number three is Cooper. Really? <laughs> That's funny. I guess it's a common dog name, as is Daisy. I have met far more dogs named Daisy than I have humans. I'm just saying. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, the kitty contestants. This is Jack in the box. Apparently, he loves boxes, so they asked us to include that in his name. This is Siggy, quite a regal looking cat. And this is Earl Grey. Look at that cat. Oh, want to squish its face. So cute. <laughs> right? Earl Grey. It's both cute and regal, just like the kitty itself. So I was doing a um, exotic pet section as well, but I didn't get enough contestants in order to do a proper contest. So <laughs> I, know. I didn't get any lizards. I didn't get any birds. Like I got one horse. So that was good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Snakes give me a problem, too. I thought I was tough last year, and I went to the reptile show that they held at the Puyallup Fair. I got so scared by one of those snakes because there was just a guy walking around with a giant snake and I turned around and it was right there. I thought I was going to pass out from fear. So I'm with you, Mary. Snakes are not it for me either. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> All right. Uh, tomorrow, April 28th from 9 a.m. to noon is breakfast at the mantle. So if you'd like to get your reservations, there are still some left. Uh, they are available on open table, or you can always ask our wonderful concierge team or myself to make your reservation. Cinco de Mayo party. Um, we are having a member mixer dinner with a taco bar, live flamenco music, and um, that is on Friday, May 3rd at 6 p.m. I extended registrations until Sunday, so you still have a little bit of time to buy tickets if you would like to come. I think it's going to be a really good time. I personally am really excited to hear uh, these guitar players. They are super talented from the clips that I heard. So it's going to be fun to bring in kind of something different than just a, a basic DJ. All right. Uh, we have facials coming up next Sunday and Monday. We have one appointment available at 3 p.m. on Sunday, May 5th. And we have two appointments available on Monday, May 6th at either 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. These are Elise's Spring Refresh face facials. And after June, she will no longer be living here. So she will no longer be um, coming to do facials here. So if you'd like to get a facial from Elise, um, this is some of your last chances to do it, unfortunately. She is, she's amazing. Um, I didn't get to know her when she was working here. I did hear she was a concierge for a little while, but I heard that she does great work. And every time I'm in the lodge when she's doing facials, I, it perfumes the whole lodge. So we're gonna be really sad to lose her. So I really recommend you get in while you can. Um, I'm definitely gonna work on finding another esthetician to come in, but uh, we all really love Elise, so. All right, we are having our Michael David Masquerade Wine Event on Saturday, May 11th. This is going to be a lodge-wide wine tasting featuring a ton of different wines from Michael David. Uh, we also have a live circus performer that's going to be roving throughout the lodge, uh, performing with these LED um, S staffs. I watched some videos of this and it looks really cool. It's going to be kind of an illusion, um, kind of magician slash circus performer uh, thing. So if you'd like to come, what's going to happen is you'll walk in the doors. You will grab your wine glass, your tasting passport, which is also going to include a little map of where all of the wine tastings stations are going to be. There's going to be seating in two tides. There's going to be wine tasting stations in Hawk's Nest, in the hallway, in Flow. Um, so it's going to be a really interactive, fun event. And of course, there will also be food. Tickets are only $50. So make sure that you get them while you can. Not required, but definitely recommended. All of the staff and um, 
wine wraps are going to be in masks, so. What? Shucks, that's okay. Um, I'm gonna have a few extra too, in case anybody comes and wishes that they brought one. Oh yeah, those were those. That was a few years ago. Those are easy. Yeah. All right. Uh, Mother's Day brunch is Sunday, May twelfth. Reservations are also available on Open Table for this, and there are still some left. This is going to be our classic brunch thing, where we fill the grand living room with a bunch of delicious food. Uh, there are two seatings for this, so make sure you get your tickets while you can. They are going pretty fast. Um, the email is about to go out to the dining members soon, so um, it will fill up after that. All right, Wine Week is coming up and we have a ton going on. The Cooking University on Monday, May 13th is very sold out, unfortunately, but that has taught me one thing. I will be doing another charcuterie board cooking university, so um, there's a lot of demand for that one. Uh, the cooking demo on Tuesday, May 14th still has some tickets. There's some white wine poached salmon and I believe white wine cookies on that one. That is going to be done by the food and beverage team. The House of Smith Jet City Winery bus tour is on Thursday, May 16th, and there is one ticket available for this. Just had one open up, so if you'd like to get the last one, uh, run to MTL and get that. It's going to be a ton of fun. We're going to go up to the uh, Jet City uh, Winery and we're going to get uh, two different tasting rooms and they're just going to treat us very well. Plus, we're taking a bus so you don't have to worry about drinking and driving, parking in Seattle. It's all taken care of for you. We are also doing a sip and stretch event on Sunday, May 19th. This is also currently sold out, uh, but if you'd like to get on the waiting list, it's always possible that someone will drop out. We are going to be enjoying some wine and or non-alcoholic cider while doing some fun yoga. There will also be a raffle for a really beautiful wine themed uh, yoga mat that I picked out that I think everyone will enjoy. And there will be some other fun wine week themed prizes as well. Uh, not included on this list, but definitely occurring on Saturday, May 18th at noon is going to be our last chance wine sale for wine week. So we have a ton of last chance wine bottles that are going to be extremely discounted. So stop by the lodge between 12 and 3. It will be held in the grand living room and there'll be a bunch of different options. Yeah, it's on Saturday the 18th. All right, we have a veterans breakfast coming up Wednesday, May 15th at 9.30 a.m. If you are a veteran or if you would just like to come and support those who have served, please sign up to enjoy some breakfast with them. Uh, the leader of the Veterans Club, Dan Lochner, has subsidized the prices of the tickets, so it is $25 all-inclusive to come enjoy breakfast. I definitely recommend it. I just added it to the Daily Digest, so I assume that tickets are going to start selling pretty fast, uh, but there are currently plenty left if you'd like to come. Wednesday, May 15th, we are going to see the Seattle Mariners at T-Mobile Park. I got really good tickets right behind home plate, and we are going to be splitting our travel between driving, and then we're going to park at the light rail station and take the light rail in so we don't have to drive into Seattle. Uh, they are playing the Royals, which I learned <laughs> between <laughs> last one and this. So it's going to be a really good game. And even if it rains, we are under a cover. So um, it doesn't really matter what the weather is. We're going to have a good time regardless. Yeah, it is a big commuter lot, um, but we're going to the Angle Lake one, which has a huge garage. I've never experienced it uh, full at, you know, 10.30 a.m. on a Wednesday, but we do always suggest carpooling. It is best practice for a lot of different reasons, including any parking restrictions we may run into. All right, Friday, May 17th, Paula is doing a coffee with the GM. So if you want to come and hear some updates from the lady herself, she will be right here giving her presentation. 
Nope. It's at 10 a.m. Okay, um, a couple of updates. Two Tides annual maintenance begins on Monday, meaning that the pool is going to be in floor mode for a month. Uh, we're going to be doing our annual maintenance. Nothing's broken, so um, everything's going to go great, and it's going to be over quick. <laughs> Smiles. Um, <laughs> And also, I misspoke during our last presentation. I mentioned that Catherine it was going to be stepping away from teaching wine universities. Uh, that is actually not the case. I was mistaken. So she is still going to be focusing on doing the wine universities. She's just bringing in a couple of presenters here and there uh, to cover, but um, she's still fully teaching the wine program. So just wanted to clarify that. It'll go out all over MTL. We'll put up a news post. We'll put up a banner. We'll remove the annual pool maintenance reminder on MTL. We'll make sure that everyone knows. And then if it does get done early, I'll post water classes and we'll do all of the all of the stuff. But right now it's expected to be closed until May 20th. Um, and just to clarify, it will be in floor mode. So we can still have events in there. Line dancing can still happen in there all of the stuff that uses it as an event space instead of a swimming pool. So all of fitness is currently posted for May. Um, I don't know off the top of my head the answer to that, although Roxanne is really great at changing from water to land. So my assumption is yes, she does have some land-based options for fitness, yeah. The spa itself will be open the entire time, so you can go and soak in the hot tub just so long as you don't mind. You know, there's going to be workers walking around in there, so if you're uncomfortable with that, I don't recommend it, but uh, the spa will be open for you to use. Yeah. Yes, please register for coffee with the GM. Um, just like any other event, we need to know how many people are coming just so everyone has a chair. Yeah. It did. I had to cancel the class there. Um, the teacher, her husband had a medical thing. And so, yeah, she had to cancel that one. Um, we may add another one, but honestly, the last class only had two registrations. So I think, yeah, I think maybe interest is going down a little. It kind of does seem like more of a winter um, thing anyway, sitting inside learning Spanish. So Maybe we'll pick it up again in the fall when people are less inclined to be outside and traveling and stuff like that. So that's the goal for that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the sip and stretch is actually either alcoholic or non alcoholic. You can either request. Um, wine or non-alcoholic sparkling cider. It was specifically for that. Yeah, yeah, I'll consider it for sure. Anything else? All right, thank you all so much for coming. The pictures, no. Did you send me pictures? I didn't get anything from you. <laughs> we'll have to work that out. I think um, you had my,